This video is gonna be a bit spoiler-ish as you can see from the title of the video. It says leaks, so if you don't wanna be spoiled, I'll provide the link to just the patch from the official website. So this is everything we know so far for 1.1. And I'll provide a bit of a screenshot and some leaks of the animation for Jin Si and Chang Li. So first of all, we know that it is going to be released on June 28th. There are going to be two new characters, Jin Si and Chang Li. And here are some of the animation for Jin Si and Chang Li from the gacha pulls and some, you know, combat mechanics like combat animation. Sorry about that. Fluorescent shadows, beckoning light. There's gonna be a new area and the area will be a winter theme area and there's gonna be new chests, tidal heritage and etc and maybe some underground area. And here is some of the screenshots of the new area. Obviously, there's gonna be new story, the main story and the story with Chang Li, which is like a companion quest story, same as the quest with Ji Yan and Yin Lin. And there's gonna be a lot, man, a lot of event. So there's gonna be a new boss rush event and a seven days login event. Uh, we will get five Lustrious Tide and five Radiant Tide. So we're gonna get some more freebies, which is always nice. And there's gonna be a lot more as far as I know, but I don't really know about the details. The event from Mount Farmanent, I forgot the name, sorry about that. Now, because of the new area and whatnot, there's gonna be a new boss or Echoes. Uh, the new boss will be like something like a dragon. See, and there's gonna be more varieties of the smaller mobs. And there's gonna be a new three star weapon, which is nice, and there's gonna be like a new weapon for Jin Si and Chang Li. So, yeah, more varieties of weapon is always nice. Oh, uh, and there's gonna be a snowboarding event or something like a mini game. So, if you guys love mini game in this game, yeah, maybe this is for you. But, yeah, for me, not so much. So, that is everything confirmed that is going to be in patch 1.1 but some leaks they're saying that there's gonna be an electro rover the next rover because the first one is spectro rover right second one is havoc and the third one will be electro rover but this is not yet confirmed if it is going to be in 1.1 or not so you will just have to wait and see oh and of course in 1.1 we will have a quality of life feature update so hopefully they will add 120 fps and the controller support is gonna be more optimized like when you press the i don't know share button or option button it will prompt you to maps not in game chat i don't know why they added that in the first place but hey, a quality of life feature is always, always welcome. So that's pretty much it about Woodring Waves 1.1 leaks. <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And hopefully I didn't miss something big or major. But if I did miss something, let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys again on the next one. Bye guys.